Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at uh, different effects that we can use in Flash. So go ahead and create a new Flash file. Doesn't matter what action script. Well, actually, action script three. And um, uh, first thing you want to do is uh, use your rectangle tool and create a rectangle. I'll change the fill color to blue. And the border to black. Okay, so now you're gonna want to right click, select all first, and then right click, come down here, convert to symbol, and we'll just call this box. And uh, make sure that it's a movie clip. And in your uh, properties right here, you'll notice that you have filters. What you can do with this is you can add a new filter. And you can do drop shadow, blur, glow, bevel, gradient glow. Do a bunch of stuff. So let's say you want to drop shadow on an object. You'll notice that your box now has a drop shadow. So to uh to play around with this, what we can do is go over to the settings in the uh, filters, and you can increase the blur, which is how far the uh, how far the drop shadow will, will uh, blur out and as you can see it changed you can change the color so since we have a blue we'll use a lighter blue for a drop shadow uh, you can change the distance so if you want to say that the uh, drop shadow is far away from the actual object you can put it to we'll do 97 pixels and you'll see that the drop shadows further away now. Um, the quality, if you put it on high, you'll see that it actually blurs the edges more. And it gives it a cool effect. Um, there's a knock out, which pretty much just knocks out the, uh, your symbol and leaves the drop shadow. There's the inner shadow, which just puts it right inside the uh, symbol and hide object which hides the symbol I just want that and just leaves the drop shadow so okay now to uh, get rid of a filter also all you have to do is come down here click on the filter that you want to uh, get rid of or make sure it's selected and click the delete button and you're back to your normal symbol now we will try the blur Everyone should know what Blur does, but I'll show you. This is what it does, just makes the uh, edges of your symbol blurred. So it's the same with quality, and you can like, go how much blur you want, or how uh, the uh, quality also. Uh, what Glow does is it just makes a uh, Odor glow around the object, so we'll use a darker. The uh, the strength of the glow is just how dark it gets, as you can see. And it's the same thing with the knockout. The inner glow will show up something like that. And that's that one. Now we'll go on to. Hello. Okay, as you can see that it now looks like a kind of like a button. This is what a lot of people use to make their buttons with their drop down menus or just the menu bars for your uh, websites. So you can change the um, the colors of the what you're gonna how you're gonna make the uh, the bell, and you can change how far it goes in depth which is pretty cool and it's the same thing with distance you can change the angle so if I just want it to be on the side I can make it just like that one degrees and the knockout and you can put the type to odor or inner or full and all that does is it just changes where the uh, the valve is placed 
So let's get rid of that and go on to gradient below. It's the exact same thing, except you have you can use a gradient. Um, you can click on this right here, the grid. Come in here, click on one of these uh, taller, taller uh, notches, and then you can come up here and choose whatever color you want. You can also use the color palette to choose a color, the exact color that you want. And then you can choose the other one, we'll make it something like that so you can see it. And as you can see now there's a gradient, uh, gradient below. And okay, the next thing that we're going to do is check out gradient develop. The exact same thing. You just click on here, you put the colors that you want, you can change with these. Say we have a blue with a red. You can take these and you can also move them like so to uh to change the how it um how the gradient is uh placed. And it's the same thing with Nacho, you have the blur, you have the strength, the quality and all that. But the next one is adjust color. And all this is is pretty much the same thing that you can do in the color effect with the brightness, tint, advanced, and alpha. So this has the contrast, saturation, and hue. So if you want it to have contrast, saturation, hue, it's whatever you want. And that is what it does. And those are the effects that you can um, use in Flash CS4. In the uh, Nuts tutorials, I'll show how to uh, how to use the effects in the uh, timeline and how they can be used in animation and how to make different um, different effects by uh, combining two or more together. So thanks for watching. Make sure that you comment and subscribe. And that is it.